Good morning guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Riley Collier. I'm a hairstylist in the state of California and today I'm gonna to be taking you along my day in the salon. You've probably noticed I haven't uploaded on YouTube in like a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. And honestly, that is because I went on vacation, didn't have time to film, didn't have time to film there. So with that being said, I'm back and I'm ready to make content for you guys. My boyfriend turned 21, so we actually went to Vegas. Now I know that sounds wild. We don't drink, we don't party, we don't do any of that. So we literally gambled $20. My boyfriend lost it all. I lost 16 of it. And we had that experience. It was fun. We shopped, we ate, it was fun. But now it is back to work. We got in around 12 o'clock yesterday. So I had the whole day to kind of prepare, do laundry, clean my house. Today I actually only have one client. So I think I'm doing a full highlight. It might be a partial, but I think it's a full. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along that process. She is very, very blonde. And I always get questions about what toners I use on her, if I root her, all of the above. Also, my outfit, like everything I'm wearing is brand new, which I'm a little bit nervous about because I save my clothes like no other. I got this really cool shirt. It's like a sports shirt. I don't really know, honestly, but it's like half and half and I think it's really cool. And then I also finally bought myself some Doc, some Doc Martens. So I'll show you guys those. I got the white platform Chelsea boot. All right, let's go to work. I just got to work. I want to attempt to show you guys my outfit. Um, I just got out of the car and my feet are killing me. I should have brought extra shoes. Luckily, I don't have a long day today, so it's fine. I am trying to break in the docks, which I've heard is very painful. So wish me luck. Okay, so my shirt is this super cool like mix. I don't even know what this is called. Some cute jeans. Those are from Tilly's. Absolutely love the rips. And then, of course, my Doc Martens. They are the platform Chelsea boots. Here's the fit in the Jeep. Okay, so this is my client today. Usually I see her about every six to eight weeks and we just do a full highlight, but today she wanted to mix it up. So she still wanted to brighten up her root, but we are going to shadow it and usually I don't. So as you can see, I'm using Wella Blondeur with 20 volume and we're just gonna do a partial today because like I said, she did want to do a little bit of a shadow. So I didn't film me foiling, but as you can see, I just did a mohawk section and the two sides and I'm just taking those foils out. She always lifts to a clean level 10. It is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now I am toning her roots and I am using Redken Shades EQ 8N with a splash of 9NA with the gloss to gel processing solution, of course. And as you can see, I'm literally just doing a splash of the NA because that is strong. So as you can see, I'm using a brush with very short bristles. I'm literally just tapping the root barely and then I'm gonna comb it down with a wide tooth home and i'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes like i said she intentionally wanted a root and as you can see i'm totally leaving the money piece alone i'm not tapping that at all guys so it is now 2 35 and i am back in the car i just finished at work it took me two and a half hours we literally just did a partial added a root you guys know the drill and that was my only client for the day usually when i have like a partial i'll do like two fulls or two fulls back to back but today since i went on vacation i just scheduled one person and she ended up just wanting a partial so i got off early so i'm actually going to go home eat some food and then we're going to talk about timing because it took me two and a half hours to do a partial and some people would say that's fast some people would say that's really slow 
I block out four hours for every client and I am not ashamed of that. So I'm gonna go home, we're gonna sit down and talk about timing and what it means to me and how I charge appropriately for it. So first step, I need to eat and then we'll just Okay, so as you can probably tell, it's actually the next day. Oh, do you wanna make an appearance? So as you can probably tell, it is the next day. Yesterday actually took a complete turn for me. I went to go visit my grandparents. I stayed there for like an hour and then I got a text that someone was at the salon and I was like, Oh my goodness. I had a client waiting at the salon that I didn't know that I had. I booked her, but I don't know where the appointment went. Honestly, I just don't know what happened with that. Luckily, it was just a haircut and I was just a few minutes away. So I was able to quickly go to the salon. I did the haircut and I gave it to her for free because I just felt so bad. That is very unlike me. And it was just a mistake on my end and everyone has mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. And she was so nice and so kind to me. So I gave the haircut to her for free because like I said it was a mistake on my end and people make mistakes and you have to own up to them and move on so that is what happened so I didn't get home until like 6 or 6 30 and I just made dinner and went to bed to be completely honest so I never got to talk about timing and what that means in the hairstylist world and I have like 10 minutes before I need to leave for work today so I thought now would be a good time to kind of talk about it and to discuss it so I wanted to start with how hairstylists were kind of interpreted back in the day I feel like for the older generations it's very common for you to be in and out of the salon in an hour and a half and that's just not a thing anymore especially with the style of hair that I do and I make it very clear and I'm very open Open about the fact that you are probably gonna be here for four hours if you want a full color it takes me an hour and a half to two hours just to foil sometimes hair has just evolved way too much in the last like three to four years to do a cut and color in two hours a lot of people especially right out of school are worried about timing they're like what if the client thinks it takes too long and I've definitely had clients that are like oh my god this is taking forever like my butt hurts and honestly if timing is that big of a deal to them they will find someone else who can do it quicker but that doesn't mean they're gonna find someone else that's going to give them better results now to make up for how much time I take on each client I do have to charge for my time so I charge for my time and product I have found that for me that makes the most sense I do use a salon scale so their product is measured out very accurately I don't just scam them and say it's gonna be $20 a bowl because we all know that a cup of bleach does not cost $20 so if they want Want to see the printout of how much their product costs I literally can hand them my phone and it's there I just feel like that's what works best for me and I feel like that gives me the most credibility of why I charge what I charge I'm not the kind of hairstylist that is gonna get you in and out in an hour and that's just how I am I spend a lot of time focusing on the details and those are just the things that are important to me and the things that take up the most time during a service so with all that being said especially if you're a new stylist don't focus so so much on your timing yes you don't want your client to be there like for eight hours for a full highlight like that is a bit much but really just focus on your skill and the details that you're putting into the client as time goes on you do get faster and you will get faster but like I said that comes naturally with practice with the more clients you do so with that being said if you guys want any more tips tricks on timing or just advice go ahead and comment that down below I feel like I have so much to say about it I could literally make it in a whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any video requests, leave them down below for me so I can start planning out my videos and have them up for you every single week. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it right down here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.